Previously on Moe's Rants. He was a real big person in the mob. He was almost a made man. But then he got in there and started doing a little snitching and stuff. So she didn't want Tommy's name to be associated with Teresi if anybody ever came back. Because, you know, the mob, they hold grudges for life. Why JP dad look at Tommy funny? Yeah, JP's dad, Herm, <laughs> that's what we're going to call him, Herm. He was talking to Tommy like they was in a relationship. Man, if you got bad... <laughs> bad intentions for my son. You need to leave. This nigga JP, he got bad intentions. This nigga got $196,000 in debt. You talking about bad intentions. I got all good intentions. I'm the only one bringing money in this house. I done dropped off 20 bands. I done dropped off 30 bands. Hell, I even brought pizza for this bum ass food JP to eat. JP stands for just problems. Everything JP does, bad intentions. I'm trying to help JP out. I almost blew his head off in the first episode. He came up talking to me like he knew me. You don't know me. Talking about who? Who are you? Who you come up here to see Miriam? Ain't no one seen Miriam in six years. Tommy said, nigga, your voice is a little bit deep. Hit one of these cigarettes. Hey, my name's JP. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not no bad intentions for JP. What can I get from JP? What could I possibly get from JP to be a bad intention? Oh, JP, let me borrow the bar. You don't want to borrow the bar because that motherfucker getting shot up. Goddamn 16-year-old kids coming in there spraying that thing every week. You don't want to borrow the bar. You don't want to stay at the house because they got this old-ass couch. It's 2021. You got an old-ass couch with flowers on it. They ain't even made them couches after 1988. 88 was the last year the couches with flowers on it. And then you got the plastic on top of it. What am I going to get from your son, JP? Bad intentions. I brought pizza over here. This nigga didn't even say thank you. This nigga opened up the box. Talking, nom, 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 nom. Oh, pizza. Because this nigga ain't ate in a while. Them ribs is showing. That stomach getting the rumbling. There ain't no bad intentions with no JP. What are you getting from JP? You can't go out in public with him because everybody looks at him like, damn, you hang out with this nigga JP? He got a bar that don't make no money. He's always shot up and he hanging out with grandma. And then he don't even hang out with grandma. Grandma was in the greenhouse by herself in a wheelchair. And we already know she can barely understand what's going on. She's in there. Tommy? And you let her in the greenhouse. You're supposed to be watching grandma. JP, just problems. Just problems. What am I going to do? What, what can I possibly get from JP? JP wife left him. JP husband left him. Bad intentions. The intention is bad from JP. He ain't did nothing right. This whole time we've been watching, we five episodes in, we're like, what the hell is wrong with JP? $196,000 in debt. The bar ain't never open. It's always shot up. You sit in there with a baseball bat. These niggas is coming with guns. You're supposed to be renovating the house, but you ain't did nothing. You keep looking at pictures. You sitting down here, you upset that you seen a picture of you and Tommy when y'all was little 40 years ago. What you gonna do, JP? What you gonna do? What do you want us to do, JP? There's no bad intentions here, Herm. Your son, everything he's done from the time he had a son, was it 16 years ago? That was the downfall of JP. He knew good and goddamn well he shouldn't have been getting married. He knew for sure he shouldn't have had no kids. And now he $196,000 in debt. Let me tell you guys something, $196,000 in debt doesn't happen overnight. That shit's accumulated over years, over years, over years. Because if it did happen overnight, they would have took that building from him. But he's been making like the minimum payments and he hasn't been paying the, the you know what I'm saying, the surcharges that going on there. You know, them fees that you be getting for being late. That's what's piling up. That's where that 196 is coming from. You see what I'm saying? So there's no bad intentions here. Because there's no intention to get anything from just the problem, a.k.a. JP. B. Haynes said JP probably stands for James Patrick. Um, I don't know. I mean, what if it did stand for James, I mean, uh, James Patrick, I mean, what, what would come out of that? Because James's last name is St. Patrick. Oh, Kendall said, don't forget about that 23. Yeah, he in all kinds of debt. What am I going to get from him? Oh, man, let me try to set JP up and, you know what I'm saying, inherit some of that debt. Yeah, what? 
I would have told, I would have told Herm, hey, if anything, you would want JP to hang out with me. Shit, I'm getting money over here. What it do, pimping? While your son over here, y'all both in here chilling, drinking. He ain't got no other job. $196,000, $233 and like 23 cents in debt. And he ain't got no other job. Yeah. Priorities seem all messed up in my book, y'all. All messed up. <laughs> yeah, Tommy fixed the windows. Hell, Tommy fixed everything. We not even we not even about to go back down the road on JP because I was just trying to figure out this, but we didn't already got into that telling Tommy, oh man, I can't take that money. Where did it come from? But every time Tommy bring that money, your ass keep it. Now you looking at the picture of you when you were little eating a popsicle and you see a white boy that you assume is Tommy and you upset. His grandson shooting up the windows and he looking at Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> you over here. Now you upset. Man, I'm looking at this picture. Wait a minute. Is this Tommy? Yeah, okay. What's your brother, man? We all know Kate ain't all there. Kate a junkie too. She be on them drugs. She be on that drink. That's why Tommy said she dead to him. ATM, I like that. All Tommy's money. Exactly. OT said, don't trust a man with a ponytail. <laughs> Chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust a man. You gotta go. You gotta give the whole scenario. Don't trust a man with a ponytail and no job and two hundred thousand dollars in debt, because he can't give you any financial or business or life advice because he's losing at all of it. Business ain't never open. Financially in debt, life losing. Ain't seen your kid. Your kid is shooting up your club. Come on, man. Your dad looks at you as a damn failure. Your brother-in-law. I mean, not your brother-in-law, but your your half brother over here looking at you. Come on, man. Uh, Andrew, no, that wasn't that wasn't JP's son. That was Elijah. JP's son is DMAC. He's younger than them. So Elijah is the one that Jannard was talking to about coming up with a plan on how to get CBI to branch off and then eventually come up under him. So that was Jannard's right hand man. Mikhail said the money is for the granny medical bill. Um, $200,000 for a medical bill and she living in the nursing home? That don't sound right. That don't sound right. Because if that was the case, let's bring her to the house and not have to pay this $196,000. I'm thinking that $196,000 is the bar. Because he said that the bar was messing up since his dad got sick. He had to take it over. $196,000 on medical bill. She had to have like a, a damn open heart surgery or some shit. Because I wish I would go in the hospital. They're talking about it's going to be $196,000. I said, well, we won't be doing that procedure. You got to go over there. You got to stroke their head. Grandma, you had a good life. You got 80 years in. You just got to, you know saying, enjoy what time you got left. $196,000? No. And if it was $196,000, I would say, yeah, go ahead and bill Grandma. I'm not putting that shit on me. $196 because uh, it sounds bad, but... Grandma might not make it too much longer. Let's go ahead and put it on her. That debt ain't going to roll over to us. It's going to roll over to Kate, maybe, but not to us. $196,000. Grandma got to understand we can't afford that. We down so bad. We living in your old house with your old furniture. We can't afford $196,000, Grandma. We barely got enough money to keep the goddamn lights on. Tommy brought over a box of peace and it was Thanksgiving to us. And you talking about $196,000 to pay off your medical bills. Grandma, I love you. I love you very much. But this far, it looks like this might be the end, Grandma. I love you. you Got to give her a kiss on the forehead. Would it, would it Ashtray and Fez do in euphoria? Grandma's in that room. Now, you can hire, you know what I'm saying? 
You can put it on Hopkins. You uh, have her at the house, have a nurse come by and drop by. But $196,000, it's been a long, a long time coming. But I know change going to come. Get grandma a kiss on the forehead. Yes, it is. And then go on back to the house. But $196,000? Grandma, it was good, man. Let me see what this house is looking like. Let me. You got the deed? Go ahead and sign that over to me. Yeah, Donna, where's Medicare? Where's Social Security? Where is, where is all of it at? Matter of fact, all right, hold on. Let's get this right. Listen carefully. A three for yes, a five for no. Would you put $196,000 of your grandma's medical bill on you to put you in debt? A three for yes, a five for no. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. I want to see what everyone thinks because they're talking about, oh, Mo, not grandma. Who, let's say grandma is 80 years old, $196 in debt, a three for yes, a five for no. Come on now. Let me see. One. Black girls together say, yeah. Maurice said, yeah. Kendall said, yeah. Well, we got, we got, what, four threes? Let me show y'all something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> oh, black girls said she'll put that shit in her kid's name. That's what's wrong with the black community now. Putting all that shit in these kids' name, then they get older and got messed up credit. Hell no, nah, don't put that in them kids' name. Them kids, hey. Y'all hearing this from me. Now, I'm not telling no one how to run their household, but don't you put no damn bills in your kid's name messing them up because your ass ain't live right. Cut that out right now. Put that shit in that kid's name. You you eight years old. You eight years old. As soon as your ass hit 18, you $196,000 in debt. And then your mama talking about you can't live here unless you got a job. Hell, mama, I need to live here and I need to work four jobs because your ass put grandma debt on me. Fuck that. Put that debt on grandma. And if she don't pay it, you got to tell them straight up. You got to call them when they talking about, hey, man, this bill, hey, grandma passed. You're not going to get that money. And what do they do? They write it off. And that's a fact. You can call hospitals and they'll write off those as taxes. When people can't pay their debts, that's what they do 99% of the time if you call. But most people don't call. They don't figure that out. Yeah. $196,000 of grandma debt. Hey, grandma, you had a nice life. But goddamn, I'm going to tell you something. I mean, with this, with all due respect, grandma, because I love you. But it's some random nigga shooting up my bar every goddamn week. I can't afford to go in debt on you and on debt on the club. I'm already staying at your house. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, JT kids got a phone bill at four. You you be hearing all these fools on Instagram and stuff talking about, especially when the pandemic first started happening. Oh man, put your kids as an employee. Do this. Put the phone bill in their name. These motherfucking kids, goddamn credit be so bad. Talking about they turn 18. I didn't help my kid build his credit. Nigga credit a 480. Because your mama didn't put a phone bill on you. Because she stopped paying her phone bill. So now she on your shit. Now she ain't making, man, she ain't making payments on time. Got these scamming ass daddies talking about, yeah, man, I'm going to put this shit in your name. No, you not. No, you not. Hey, Dre, cable bill at three. Cable bill at three. Mama got all the packages. Talking about mom and dad. We're going to put this in your name. We got that HBO package. Fuck what Mo talking about. We don't want to hear Mo's recaps about stars. We're going to put stars on there. We got Hulu. We got Hulu TV. We got YouTube TV. All this shit in the kid's name. We didn't got the kid a credit card. We didn't max that motherfucker out. Payments late as hell. 
talking about my son gonna have good credit when he get old enough nigga turn 18 he ain't get nothing his credit so bad he can't even get in the military like what how your credit that goddamn bad you can't join the military <laughs> Maurice said credit score 150 credit score no 50 your ass in here worse than JP JP 45 years old and can't get shit done you talking about an 18 year old don't let it be a little girl too you didn't put the shit in your girl's name she growing up it's already hard for women out here and now you didn't fucked up her credit because you trying to be cool and live that lifestyle then y'all talk about man what's going on mo shit ain't nothing going on with you i done seen what you doing yeah i remember i heard you on the phone in the background them niggas talking about man we can't even give you a 500 dollars loan because your shit's so bad you can't even go to the credit union. The credit union give anybody a loan. You go in there with that damn 78 on your credit score. They talking about, nigga, you've been having a cable bill since eight and you ain't paid it. It's been disconnected 18 times. Yeah, it's once a year, man. My mom be tripping. What? What? Now you can't even go in the, uh, the goddamn store. You going up to shoe heaven to try to pick up some of them lugs. And they talking about, hey, bro, man, we can't even, you know what I'm saying? We can't even put these on layaway for you. We heard about you. Time Warner and Infinity, yeah, we know you got all that shit. Google Fiber, yeah, we know about that. Even T-Mobile and called us. It's an alert. As soon as you go in there, you you show your driver's license. It don't show up for tickets. Like you get pulled over, the police don't even look to see if you got any priors. They look at like, damn, this nigga credit all kinds of fucked up. People wondering why you can't do shit in life. Yeah, your goddamn parents messed it up at three, thinking it was cute. We gonna build his credit. He gonna be good. And then they try to give you some cash, talking about you go a thousand dollars for your graduation. That thousand dollars ain't gonna fix shit. And then they're gonna go on Instagram, they're gonna see someone talking about, man, I can fix your credit or on Facebook. Hey man, we can fix your credit. Do this. They're gonna sign up, give them niggas 200, 250 dollars. Ain't gonna fix shit. Now they talking about, man, goddamn, I gotta go rob a bank. Like, whoa, 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 brother, you tripping. You tripping. You tripping. Now they got to go join the streets. Why? Because their credit was messed up. And don't let this be in Chicago because then it's going to just be like JP, son. d -Mac. We don't even know what the hell went on. His mama took him away from his daddy. He out here in the streets wilding out. I never understood it. I used to be out wilding out doing goofy shit, but my parents would be on my ass. And it was like, okay, next week you ain't. But they ain't putting no damn they ain't put shit in my name growing up. They already knew. JP want to save his voice. He need to save that damn bank account. Yeah. All kinds of messed up, JP. Talking about, damn, you tripping, man. <laughs> you tripping, JP. Your ass need to be working. You looking at these pictures. Why? Why? Why did you think in the middle of the daytime, you ain't got nothing else going on. The bar is shut down. You're renovating the house. For what? Are you selling this house? That's what you need to be trying to do, selling this house. There ain't no point of painting this. You ain't got no money. What are you doing? They got these old-ass dinner trays. Y'all remember these raggedy-ass things right here? These things so raggedy. They got metal fold-out legs. They start bending up at the bottom. Yeah, you trying to put them on there. They don't even sit in the little latch anymore. But no, JP said, fuck that. I'm not going to get me another job. I'm just going to clean up the bar whenever it gets shot up. We got the Chicago Daily Post up here in the window. These old ass blinds, this big ass VCR. Hey, this is the TV I was talking about when I told y'all we were playing baseball at the house. My brother threw a golf ball that was wrapped up in foil. This is what our TV looked like. Yeah, this is the kind of TV we had. Yeah. <laughs> More like the JP impersonation. Hey, Tommy, I found a picture of you and me when we were younger. Can you explain this to me? Nigga, I was a kid. I don't remember that picture. And I for damn sure didn't know who that black kid was. How, how are you going to ask me, do I remember what this picture was? Huh? Huh, JP, I'm going to show y'all something when we get there, too. You remember Chris Brown said something? How are you going to hate? You can't even get in the club. Hmm. JP, how am I going to tell you? What was going on in this picture when I was inside the playground? You couldn't even get in the playground. You on the outside of the fence eating a popsicle. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Look, you on the outside. How I know what you're doing? I'm over here doing the little jump thing. Ding, 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 ding. I'm playing around. I'm having fun with the kids. You eating a popsicle on the outside, taking pictures with the police, nigga. Acting like you know me. What? Well, Tommy, look, I seen a picture. We were kids, man. I had a popsicle, and I seen you in there. What were you doing in there that day? I know it was 44 years ago, but what were you doing? Nigga, I don't know. Now, I can say nigga because you my brother. Now, I'm not going to say it out in these streets. Now, Ghost, he'll let me say it one time, but I'm not going to say it in these streets, but nigga, I don't know, man. We adults, bruh. I didn't even know I lived in Chicago until I came back to Chicago. I just now knew that I had my height up on the wall. Oh, watch that. This ain't the 80s. This shit like the late 70s. I was born in the 80s, and we didn't dress like this. Well, Tommy, I'm just saying, I seen a picture, and I took a picture of Kate in my phone and my cellular device. And when I went to the couch, I started looking at the pictures. Tommy should have said, why weren't you at work? It's the middle of the day. Look at it. He's like, I'm going to take a picture of this. For what? Oh, this is the 80s. March 14th, 1985. I wasn't even born yet. I was in my mama's stomach cooking. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take a break. I got all this pain on my hands. Let me go watch an old video footage of Kate with Tommy. I'm, I'm going to take a picture of her also. I'm just going to have it on my phone just in case I ever want to look back at her. First of all, get rid of that smartphone. You don't need no smartphone. You need a flip phone. You don't need no text messaging. You don't need nothing but straight phone calls. Hello? Yes, I can be there. Hello? I need to come over here and pick up something. You don't need no texting. You don't need no camera. You don't need none of that. You don't need none of that. You already living with the perimeter stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got them got an old ass TV. They talking about this is a big screen. This shit a 28 inch. You got the VCR. You got the little bowl that you're supposed to put mints in. And then you got this fake ass plant up here. You living wrong. You can't be living in 1985 and then have a modern day technology of a telephone. No, you need to go back to that damn flip phone or straight house phone because you ain't. You ain't got no job, so you don't have gas money. You don't need a cell phone to be on the road. You catching the bus wherever you going. You don't need internet. You don't need none of that. Because what are you doing? You looking at old pictures. You, you owe $196,000, thousand, dollars Not $1,000, 196 of them thousand dollars. You need to get rid of that phone. People talking about, oh, the lights are going off. My, my electric is too high. Oh, I don't have any money for this. Get rid of that goddamn phone that you're making payments on. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but if you don't own your cell phone, that is a problem. If you are making monthly payments and then trading that shit in and getting another phone the next year, that is a problem. Buy your phones or pay them off and keep them motherfuckers for two or three years. Don't get trapped in all this dumb shit. The iPhone 14, iPhone 14 XS, iPhone 15, the Samsung. Buy your phone, pay that motherfucker off in your 24 months, and let that motherfucker ride. Quit giving these people money, or you're going to be looking like JP. You're talking about, Mo, you was right, man. I went in debt. Well, I bought this phone because they told me I could get a free phone when I first went there and signed up. And then for 24 months, I'd have to pay $38 on top of my monthly bill of $45. So I'm paying roughly around $100 for this phone. For what, JP? Ain't nobody calling JP to hang out. Ain't no one like, hey, JP, I'm about to pull up. Don't nobody want to be at this raggedy ass house. And they show the hell don't want to be at that bar and potentially get shot. You need to get rid of this goddamn phone. And go back. If you're going to be living in the 80s with everything else, a tube TV and a VCR, then you need to be living with a flip phone. You don't need to be in the modern day era. That's just plain and simple. JD talking about, Mo, give me one of those phones you got in your closet. I can't even do it. 
<laughs> I gotta always be prepared. Like, you know, I got an iPhone. I got an iPhone. It's in my bathroom. I don't even use it. I take it when I go on the road. It's in there for music. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I get in that shower, you know what I'm saying? Rubber dub dub. I gotta have music on. But it's paid for. It's an older iPhone. I think it's an iPhone 8 or something, but it works. I can FaceTime off that thing. I can text. I got this phone because I can edit off of it. I got my other phone over there. So if anything ever breaks, I'm not, hey, T-Mobile, let me get a new phone. No, JP, throw that shit away. Quit giving these fools money, man. And I got a beeper. I got a two-way pager. I got everything I need just in case. You know what I'm saying? Just in case. And y'all done got me worked up, man. But I thank y'all for getting me on JP because we got us a nice little rant. I'm going to cut that down for y'all. We're going to move on because I think. <clears throat> Jimmy on the beat, boy.